Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. Quickly, before this tutorial, this once, in a, once upon a time tutorial, I wanted to let you guys know that the collab has obviously been a little MIA. Uh, if you've noticed, some people just haven't been posting the videos lately, and it's just because a few of the members have been super busy. Uh, and there's been a lot of computer problems. Tori was really busy with school. Kenzie has been moving. She's been moving back and forth from California and Oregon because of her family is looking for a house and she's in the process of moving. And so she hasn't had tons of internet access so she hasn't been able to upload consistently. Sahara just had a recent problem with her computer and she had to get it fixed and so did Eva. So. Everyone has just been having a lot of problems in terms of being able to edit and film and upload So that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of videos weekly. Do not worry. Everyone is slowly getting back Into the game. Eva just got a computer back. Sarah gets it back today. I believe or yesterday uh, Kenzie will be back shortly from like she's settling into moving Tori is back in the game as you guys saw this week her videos up so I just wanted to send you guys a little update of what's going on and no no one's disappeared or anything there's just been a lot of problems but that happens sometimes I'm sure you guys have had the same issues in terms of you know not being able to do some stuff just because of things happening out of nowhere and for us it just kind of all happened at once it was kind of crazy it happened to everyone in the collab almost at once uh, and that's it so back to your regular scheduled programming keep watching all right, so Ruby from Once Upon a Time obviously wears a lot of red, and she's grown a lot as a character since season one, and she's changed her look a lot. She's super versatile, which is what I love about her. So I'm going to take a little from all her looks, from her 60s rocker vibe to her now really natural makeup to her Little Red Riding Hood look, and I'm going to mix those all together. So first I'm taking that matte color from that NYX palette, Golden Horizons palette, and putting that into my crease as a base, the transitional color, and then I'm taking Wonder from that Stila palette again er, and I'll have list everything listed down below and I'm putting that all over my lid then I'm taking this uh, white color from the Stila palette and patting that first into the inner corner and then blending it outward over my entire lid mixing those two colors and I'm also blending out the edges into the transitional color like I just did next I'm taking a NYX black eyeliner and tightlining my waterline on my upper lashes and I'm curling my lashes and putting Lorac Pro Mascara onto my lashes then I put these Liberally Republic fake lashes on they're kind of huge and I took the NYX liner again and just kind of like added a little black in the inner corner and I put on my True Match L'Oreal foundation. Now, these eyelashes are huge, but I think Ruby from season one totally would have worn this and rocked it. And I wanted to use them because I don't know when I'll ever have a chance to use these. Come on. So I'm also pulling my foundation down to my neck. Make sure to do that. And taking a flat foundation uh, crown brush and just patting it over a little bit to add that acne bit, my trouble area, to add a little more coverage. Next I'm taking this Maybelline Lumi concealer and NYX HD concealer and adding that underneath my eyes as well as using the NYX one for highlight in those areas. And I'm taking a sponge and patting all these areas. Pat, pat, patting. And I'm taking this Essence compact powder to set both my face and my under eye area. Lexo. Next I'm taking this Bear It All contour color from Pure Minerals and I'm contouring on in the hollow of my cheekbone and also I'm using this contour color all over like my temple upper bit where the sun would touch and in my neck just because the actress just has a really nice chiseled face which I definitely don't. Uh, pure blush and adding it to my cheeks. And that pure highlighter from that compact duo that I just showed. And I'm taking this Mineral Glow from Pure. I swear I didn't do this on purpose. This is just like because I got this stuff from Holo and I was playing around with it. And I'm also contouring my nose because the actress has a very defined nose. I definitely didn't make my nose like hers, but it's a little more. Um, contoured and then I'm slowly blending it out 
or slowly. I blended it probably for two minutes. This is fast forwarded, obviously, but that's what I did. Just blending. Then I'm adding a little highlight to the tip and adding mascara to my lower lashes. So then she has really bold brows, so I'm taking a brunette collar, which is way darker than my eyebrows, and just adding it all over my eyebrow, like that. See, there's a major difference. And then I set it with this Anastasia Cree clear brow gel and it looks less weird now <laughs> they're both like that I don't know to me it's super weird and then I'm taking the white color from the Stila palette and using it as a highlight on my brow bone as well as the inner highlight on my eyes next I'm taking this red lip liner from NYX because she always wears she like almost always wears some variation of red lipstick on the show and lining my lips like so and making and I probably overline a little bit and lining my lips and then I'm using this wet and wild red lipstick to cover my lips and to get all the bits every little nook and cranny I'm using this flat brush and slowly lining kind of, it's kind of like you're lining your lips um, again, but instead of lining your lips with a lip liner, you're slowly like getting the edges, kind of making sure that lipstick color is everywhere because you know a lipstick uh, tube thing is really round, so sometimes it's hard to get those edges, you know. And if you get a little messy, then you take some concealer and a flat, stiff brush and slowly, slowly, slowly follow the line that you would like your lips to end at and clean up the edges like this. See, it's kind of instantly looks cleaner. And do it as many times as you need. And I like taking a clean, br different clean brush and just kind of like pulling it down. Make sure the concealer you're using, of course, is the same color as your skin, uh, especially in that area. And see, it's much more clean there. I'm also taking that same concealer and just covering up some of my problem areas because, yep, I have acne. And this is what it looked like. Yeah, those lashes are bold and crazy, but I wanted to mix all her different looks, kind of a natural eye look from her wolf stuff, but also combining it with her red lip and her crazy lashes, just kind of doing everything. Now to hair. I wanted to do her curly hair from when she's a Little Red Riding Hood, so I put that macadamia oil into my hair to make sure it wouldn't get damaged when I got my curler, and I also put dry shampoo into my hair to help add volume and this was two-day hair and I took some selfies because you should let it sit for a little bit selfie time was letting it sit for me now I'm taking this new me wand I think it's a 32 millimeter one also heating it up while I'm letting the dry shampoo set and I'm also taking that little what is it I don't know what those things are called and separating my hair to make it easier to cool, curl <laughs> easier to curl and notice that I also put a section the section that I want to curl up a little bit separately so I can see individual strands I curled each strand for about 20 or 30 seconds. Quickly did this, no. And of course, take your time, have fun, sing along. It's all about enjoying doing whatever you're doing. I pretty much always sing along to the music. And here's an example. And then I put that hairspray in that I got in a sample bag from Ulta. Uh, and I'm trying to add texture and volume to my hair because Ruby's hair is super voluminous when it's curled. And then I'm using this Herbal Essence hairspray to just keep it together. And this is the outfit. I'm using this black half sleeve shirt, red pants, cause she's all about wearing red and these really cute ankle booties. And this beautiful necklace, these awesome earrings and that cool stud. Kind of to give it a classic yet rocker chic sort of look because that's totally Ruby, I think. That's what she's all about. She dresses kind of every single style, but I feel like that's what she does the most. And this is the final look. Those are those beautiful shoes, the red pants. I added a belt because I felt like it was a little naked. My hair, all curled and beautiful. That necklace. And I also th found this gold and red scarf and I thought it was perfect and that Ruby would totally wear it and it's super pretty and I think it's perfect for fall so definitely you should wear that. And I added some of those gold bangles to match the scarf. And again, here's the final makeup look and hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to The Beauty Cult and don't forget to check out my channel as well. Mwah! See you next Friday!